Drop the knife. Alex Blake, on the eve of May 17th, 1992, you break into the home of Lily and Sam Stevenson. Your burglary goes wrong and you end up killing the both of them, leaving their 11th month old son orphaned. His name was Max. My name is Max. And I have come back in time to stop you. You can't do that. Oh, and why not? Well, fundamentally, in order for you to go back in time to stop an event, that event must happen in the first place to motivate you to go back in time. Um... Yeah, but there's, there's gotta be, I mean... Therefore, if you stop me from killing your parents, then they won't die and you won't have the motivation to go back in time to stop me from killing your parents, thus creating a paradox. Damn it. Hey, that vase right there. If I remember correctly, it was broken during the robbery. So what if I were to go back in time specifically to smash the vase, and then just killed you as a side action? Well, that could work, but did you come back in time with that intention? No. But, I can fix that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, that is cool. Huh? Aha! Well, even if that works, which I doubt it will, there is also a theory that all events that happen must happen, meaning that even if you stopped me, your parents would still die in order to... Yes! I did it. I stopped you. You can take your theoretical quantum mechanics and you can shove them right up your... Hey! Who's there? Oh, that's my mom and dad, isn't it? Oh, 